Except as noted, all text, graphics, sounds, and video content are the intellectual property of Florida Institute of Technology. Uh, there was once a licensed psychologist, and I'm, I'm not having any disrespect for psychologists here. It just happened to be that this person was a licensed psychologist. And this licensed psychologist uh, had a practice that was very successful. He mostly saw um, middle-aged men in his practice, and they were men who, uh, who were going through a midlife crisis, but they first felt kind of uh, lost uh, uh, value in their life. They lost the zest. They didn't seem to be very happy. They were a little down. And uh, they, they, they wanted to have a, a little bit more fun in life. They, they thought that their lives were a drag sometimes. And, and, he, and Dr. Boogaboo had tried diff different psychotherapy techniques that he had been trained on uh, with his people, and, and they hadn't been as effective as a new procedure that he developed. Uh, he came up on this idea to do a new form of therapy, and what the therapy consisted of, and this is what, where it gets weird, is that he, he had a very nice lush office. He had the, his clients one at a time come into his office, and then uh, it was very nicely decorated, kind of like tribal style, <laughs> and, and there was a nice comfortable chair in the middle, and the lights were kind of soft. And he had the client come into the office, and sit in that chair, and there was soft music playing, and he'd, and he'd, uh, uh, he'd send them uh, uh, um, suggestions, relax, and so forth, and they relaxed. And about five, after about five minutes of sitting by themselves, then the, 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 the lights would get a little brighter, and the music would change, so that there were tribal drums playing. And then Dr. Boogaboo, who had been uh, somewhere else during this time, would come in, make his entrance. And I've got to get ready here to get my Boogaboo therapy outfit on. Uh, and he would come, and he would then get in front of the man, and he would then dance around and do and then he go the other way and then he would simply leave and then a voice would come and say, all right, session's over. <laughs> you can go see the receptionist. And again, this is not a true story, uh, so you have to suspend uh, your disbelief. But what typically happened is that the men would start laughing. And, and as Dr. Boogaboo danced around them, and when they, f when, when they finished, they left with a smile on their face. And they said, hey, that was lots of fun. I feel better. And if for some reason somebody didn't react in that way, uh, by the end of the session, the receptionist said, oh, Dr. Boogaboo wants you to step and see uh, Dr. MD. <laughs> Uh, Dr. MD uh, will help you out here. And then Dr. MD would write a script, and he would prescribe typically Prozac, which is an antidepressant, and Viagra, which I think you know what it's for. And, and, and then uh, and they would get a little smile on their face, and maybe the little devil horns as they have in the commercial, perhaps. And they would leave happy, too, because they got a little something extra there. Well, uh, this session took less than 15 minutes. Uh, Dr. Boogaboo was able to see about four clients per hour. 
uh, they build their insurance as psychotherapy or <laughs> they did private pay. And, uh, and he had a very successful practice he, in, the chain, in the sense that they had the, cl the clients lined up uh, one right after the other. And he worked long days and, and he even worked Saturdays and, and he had a long waiting list. Now again, you might say this can't happen. Well, it maybe can't, but that's, uh, you have to believe my story here. Okay, so Dr. Boogaboo's waiting list got so long that he says, I gotta help these people. All these people want my help, and I, I can't help them all. But there's nobody else in, uh, in town um, that can, or anywhere else in the world uh, that knows how to do Boogaboo therapy. I'm the one who invented it, and I've never taught anybody how to do it. So I've got to do something about this. So he founded the Florida Institute for Boogaboo Therapy. And he advertised it only to licensed mental health professionals. You have to be either a licensed psychologist or a licensed clinical social worker or a licensed mental health counselor or a licensed marriage and family therapist. Uh, you could not attend this, uh, as a, be a, uh, a, a student of this program unless you were already licensed. And he had more applicants that he could handle, so he selected them carefully um, based on their resumes and, and, and transcripts and GRE scores and everything. And he only admitted the best. And then he's, uh, he spent uh, lots of hours training them on just how to do boogaboo therapy. Um, and again, you have to suspend belief here, but somehow there were all kinds of theories that they were taught. And then the practices, and depending on the patient, depending on which move to make, whether to move first to the right or to the left, and whether to shake the hip once or to shake the hip twice, it was a complicated procedure, uh, and he taught them the moves. <laughs> and then if they met the competency criteria, because he had to observe them doing it with real patients, <laughs> uh, several of them, to make sure they did it right, then he gave them a certificate. And the cert certificate said that they were now, s uh, they had completed a certificate program in Boogaboo Therapy at the Florida Institute of Boogaboo Therapy. And, the, and then those licensed professionals hung their little certificates on the wall and started advertising that they were do, practicing Boogaboo Therapy and they had all kinds of men coming to see them. Women never came. They had more sense, I guess. But the men came, and, the, um, and, 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 and again, they had very successful private practices. And the whole thing boomed. And everything seemed to be fine. Everybody seemed to be happy. Um, and the only problem was that several months later, uh, one of the Boogaboo therapists noticed that there was, they had heard that there was somebody in town that was practicing boogaboo therapy, and they were not a licensed mental health professional. <laughs>